This is our fourth example where we're looking at the gradient field of a function f and what can we say about the function. The first thing you should notice is that this is actually one gradient field here. What happened was I tried to plot it in a single square and it would not plot at all. So then I said to myself, it looks like it's going bad around the y-axis, around x equal to zero. So I'll try to plot a little bit to the left of the y-axis and a little bit to the right of the y-axis. So what we have is these two pieces of gradient field here. This one goes from x equal to minus one to x equal to minus 0 0.5. And this one starts at 0 0.5 and goes to one. So we don't have information about the gradient field in here. But we have a lot of information. First thing we notice is there are no places where there are zero vectors. They're small here, but they're not zero. So we have no stationary points. So we have no maximums or minimums. Second thing we notice is that they are going to zero here. So the function is probably asymptoting out here. It's stopping, stopping growing, right? And the same thing on this side, it's asymptoting out, it's leveling out. So these two places are leveling out towards x equal to minus infinity and x towards plus infinity. Now let's look at these arrows. We'll just start right here. This one is growing in this direction, growing, 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 growing. And as it approaches the y-axis, it's grown to infinity. What's it doing here? It's growing in this direction in greatly. So this one is going to plus infinity. This one is coming from minus infinity and growing, 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 growing to plus infinity over here. And then this one is coming down from minus infinity and going to plus infinity. So we can see that the, the idea is that we're coming from minus infinity and going to plus infinity coming from minus infinity and going to plus infinity. Now, of course, I have seen the function and I wrote the function, so I know that this is what is happening, but you can kind of see that that is what is happening. Let's look at the function. There it is. It's down there is where it was coming from minus infinity, swirling up to plus infinity. And then from down here, it's coming to minus infinity and swirling up plus infinity. And here's that little piece of block from x equal to 0.5 to x equal to 1. That's this block right here. So this yellow thing that you see here, this is the gradient plot for this piece of function right here. And you can see this is the part that's coming from down below like this, coming up. That's this. So it comes up like that. And then it's spinning around and going up to plus infinity on that side. Let's look at the contour plot. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like this contour plot. So this is going to plus infinity. The colors are getting lighter and lighter here. The white is where Mathematica gives up trying to calculate it. There are the little pieces of light blue here are the pieces of white here. And this is where it's coming from. Negative infinity, very large negative number, and then going to a large positive number. There are the Mathematica commands for this.